Hi, I'm Habib. And I'm Jake. Are we coming at you with swing cast tutorial? About to learn how to do a swing cast over here. So basically, some prerequisites to doing a swing cast is to have a back flip down, having a good swing, and you, it's not a requirement, but having a cast away would, cast would, would, would help a lot. So let's get it. All right, let's get it. All right, so first off, you need to find a good bar that's a bit more than your body length. So this bar over here is a bad example, but we're gonna try our best, all right? <laughs> All right, so the first step to getting a decent swing cast is getting a really strong kip. So after you kip, that really nice kip, you want to go back and throw the bar. So nice kip, come back, throw the bar. Ugh. <laughs> All right, so after you get really comfortable with the kip and the throwing of the bar, you're going to want to start having your legs kick in for the back flip at the height of your back swing. Let me show you what I mean. So a good exercise to fill in out the kick is to do something like this. So you're here, you're gonna kick, throw, <laughs> and throw your feet back as such. You should almost do a backflip, basically. So if you could find a nice squishy mat or foam pit, then you should try landing on your back in that. Or if you do not have that, you can do what Jake's doing right now. This exercise, practicing the snapping motion and getting the feel for what the move is in general. So a good prerequisite to understanding the snapping motion and the swing cast motion in general is to do an exercise like this. Finding a low bar and snapping at the peak of your swing cast and rolling back as he just did so gracefully. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, ready? You got you. All right, so for the very, hold it back up. All right. So for the next very important step, is being able to snap into that tuck and bringing your knees to your chest yep. and not bringing your arms down to your legs. Yep. If you bring your arms to your legs, then that's going to make you go forward and that's not where you want to go. You don't want to go there. You want to go back don't and really snap into that tuck and bring your knees in. Okay? Of course. All right, so Habib, let's, let's see it. Exactly like that. Exactly. Quite thank of you. Thank you. So after understanding all the steps, it's time to put them all together. Just do it! Step one, the kick and the lift. Step two, the snap. Step three, bringing your knees to your chest. And step four is actually doing the backflip. So we're gonna show you how to put it all together. Step one, swing. Lift, step two, swing, lift, snap. Wow, that hurt. <laughs> hey, all right, so, swing, lift, snap. Tuck. So put them all together and you should have the dankest swing cast around. Is 
the dank being professional? Is that a professional I word? think so. I think it's pretty professional. Um, yeah. Have the danky swing cast around. Just to recap, swing on the height of your swing, bring your foot back and really snap it, and bring your knees to your chest. One tip I have for me that really works, for me personally, is to look at the bar when I'm about to do the backflip. Oh yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, if you see, if you look at my video on how to improve a backflip, actually talking about spotting one place to <coughs> get your, yeah, of course, <laughs> to get your um, backflip higher, and yeah, try it when you feel comfortable with the swing cast. Train safe, have fun, and stay positive. I hope Kyle Mendoza doesn't sue me for that. He probably will. Right, Forget I said stay positive. Yeah, don't don't stay positive. Stay well, negative. I mean, stay positive, but we didn't say it. Yeah, but don't be too positive. Yeah, like, yeah. if you're too positive, Kyle might sue us. Yeah, so just be positive enough. Yeah, be... <laughs> <laughs>